so um today we just we just had a rara opening um after the after the long maintenance and i'm just gonna go over is it worth it for you to pull rara whether you being a complete newbie or whether you being already pulling all those uh previous dragon um fcs that has been launched just like myself as well whether you are free to play or pay to win so um let's get it let's let's get it started so rara obviously is um uh, two one of the two golden fate core of the dragon fc and and um because it's golden what's different is that um they rara will get rara and zeon got one extra passive on top of all the um all the regular passives that all dragon uh fc has which is you know um the great one dragon blood wrath um dragon scale or the common one and zeon um refreshing his turn for uh if we make a kill when the enemy was disheartened and rara getting a self self uh bonus on her getting that 32 hit bonus in a uh, movie 32 attack speed bonus along with the 100 um accuracy bonus but those will be gone once rara goes for uh goes below five per five percentile of hp but what's really important for Rara is that um, Rara gets 32 attack speed bonus, meaning Rara is always, always guaranteed to go first. I'm not even kidding. Rara will always, almost always to be uh, to go first. Meaning uh, the previous patch where they buffed Annie, FC Annie, you know that um, Annie gives you um, three mana. So um, unfortunately, unfortunately, you can use this one, but it won't. It may not be delivering a lot of damage because um it could be wiser for you to use your uh you know single um spell with any at first turn at least because um um rara didn't actually have the uh burst on her uh third spell but because it now has burst it's important for you to save up your mana and then maybe when you six her um rara and then get those uh get those 10 mana that burst this burst will deal an incredible amount of damage so let's just enjoy this beautiful uh beautiful animation we only have one here so we, we don't really get to see like all of them getting um nuked but it's, suppo it's supposed to be like all five all five characters here lying down just taking damage of all of those arrows so um in a way rara can be paired up with fc Annie. If you do have her, please use together. But if you don't have any, we can still pair her up along with Bathory, whether it being Fate Core Bathory or not, and on also with um Ulum, whether it being Fate Core Ulum or not. But keep in mind, if it's a regular Ulum, your Ulum may not be able to tank enough. So I recommend you to use um Fate Core Ulum along with FC Rera along with FC Bathory. I know that's not something that you know free-to-play users are highly likely to have, but that doesn't matter. Even without that, FC Rara is still gonna be godlike. First, Rara is a nature color. I mean, nature um, element. Meaning, Rara will having Rara solo will kind of push you all the way to special dungeons on nature. So, um, and you, we oh, we we have like a corresponding. We have fire days. We have a, a frost day. We have light dark day. So adding those nature day is pretty important. And so, uh, same with Baraka. If you're a newbie. Go for Baraka, go for Rara, because they the having them will help you easy on the story, like getting to chapter 10, and also help you a lot on your um, special dungeons on corresponding elements. If you have all the fate cores and if you aim for higher tiers in PvPs, you um you actually may not have enough slot for Xeon. Z what um Xeon is a warrior, it's a warrior type, meaning Xeon will give you a lot of defense bonus as a base stat whilst um uh rara is a trickster if i remember it correctly and trickster gives you a lot of attack well you you do have generally a lot of attack meaning the wrath damage if you compare it with rara and um zeon it's gonna rara will de deliver just a ton, ton more damage a ton more single target damage although they both say three, they both they say 300 percentile rara will be delivering a ton more damage than zeon does and also, Rara will be able to, um, with with the help of Annie, maybe um, Rara will be able to uh, 
kill Xeon off easy. And what's really important is that Rara can actually blind, well not really blind, lower the accuracy of enemy by a hundred, um, by a hundred. Until, um, the enemy takes damage. So, so let's say you, um, attack, you, you use your, your attack to Xeon. Bam, Xeon get one Dragon Blast tech and Xeon, uh, will wrath you, right? Xeon's wrath comes in, but guess what? Because, um, Xeon just got that, um, debuff, meaning, uh, accuracy lowered by 100. Xeon will not be able to, um, hit you. You may be able, you, there's a highly, highly likely for you to, um, evade that attack. But because you are still technically attacked, you are gonna wrath him as well. But that wrath will kind of um, delete, um, delete Zeon in my opinion, uh, or delete uh, Zeon's debuff in my opinion. It should be, but it's still something that where you have to, you can deal Zeon two times in a row, but Zeon will not be able to de deal you any damage back for the Dragon Wrath. So um, it's really, it's really powerful when it comes to uh, facing other Dragon FCs or like when you're left alone. When, you know, like how we used to have like a 10 minute PvP if it was a Zeon versus Zeon. If, at least if you have Rara, it won't be like that. It won't be like that. You will be dealing damage, but you won't be taking much damage because of the godlike evasion. Also, this applies that as well, but it only applies one and the one with the highest attack. Meaning, meaning, whoever was the highest attack is always guaranteed to have that um the, the great one pass it. So that one will always were supposed to be guaranteeing to um wrath you guys, but because because you can blind it, or not really blind, because you can lower the accuracy and evasion, there is also a chance for um, for that nuke to be dodged as well. So it's really important for um, it's really important for you to have pull Rara, especially if you don't have Zeon. Especially if you don't have Zeon, because basically having Rara is anything you can do with Zeon and plus extra. Um, maybe not the amount of shield, but. And, and as well, um, the, the only reason, not the only, but one of the many reasons why we should be using her with um, battery is because of the Tranquil passive. Look at here, um, it will heal Rara 100 percentile of HP when Tranquil disappears. And we all know when Tranquil disappears. When does it disappear? It disappears when you take a fatal damage. It disappears and you have your remaining HP will be 1. But because it just disappeared, you're gonna get fully um, recovered. So that's basically giving you a full recovery um, in exchange for Tranquil. So as long as your battery have more attack speed, more um, higher attack value than your Rera, you are guaranteed to get that Tranquil passive down. So those two will, will make a pretty, pretty great combo, especially on offense and defense even as well. Just anytime, anywhere and, and everywhere. All right. Um, what else? What else are there for the Rara? Let's see. Let's see. Recruit. Oh, and I know, I know, getting those twenty um twenty eight is a tough choice for you. I know. Um, let's say you got her like uh on like a twenty sixth or twenty fifth. I encourage you to just to stop it. Um, if you're free to play, just stop it. You know, just stop it. But if you are like paid, uh, if you are kind of like old fish or uh, bigger. You always, um, I don't really, um, I won't stop you if you go for mileage. It's just, it's just so good, so good. If I, if I didn't spend my, um, Muse on Xeon, I would have actually spent it on Rara. I know it doesn't give you much bonus. I don't know if you guys saw it. It only gave you like a what? Um, hold on. It only gave us like, yeah, 58 attack and 36 defense and 100 94 HP. That was a very, very low stat because, you know, uh, Rara is a, a natural one five stars. And Zeon got a lot more stats out of that Fate Core because, you know, you know Zeon is a natural one three star. That's the difference. Okay, uh, and thank you for reminding me how, uh, what to do with the Guardian song. Thank you for reminding me. As one, as one of my previous videos said, I still think when Rara becomes powerful, um, the nature dealers are just going to be there. The nature dealers are always gonna be there. Meaning, actually, having those um, nature guardians zone is not bad at all. It's not gonna be bad at all. Also, keep in mind that Rara is like a top three when it comes to um, evasion. If I, uh, if my memory serves correctly, let me actually check it right now. Okay. 
Um, the highest one is provided by Jin um, and Baraka. Oh my gosh, I have to uh, watch over the... Oh man, I'm sorry, I have to uh, go over this. Whatever, I'll do this a little bit later. Yeah, whatever, thank you. Going back. Yep, so um, let's see the dodge rate, okay? If my memory serves correctly, uh, dodge, dodge. 110 is the highest with Jin. Um, same should be done, yeah, same. So those two are the highest one. And Rara, I believe, was like 104 or 105. Let's check. Oh, 104. So Rara is maybe not the third, because Valentina also has a 104. 105, okay. So Valentina, is actually, uh, Valentina actually has one higher dodge than um, Rara does. That was surprising. And we just we gotta know that we we generally generally have like 110 or like 120 hits, and because that because of that debuff, your enemy will have like a 10 hit uh, once you get debuffed by um, Fate Correra. So that's the, that's the power of that um, debuff, anyways. So Rara is considered to be having one of the high values for the dodge. So yes, getting those extra dodge with the uh, set effect of nature guardian zone is not bad at all. It's not bad at all. So having those will be good. And second, having those um, frost will not hurt you neither. Because um, like I say, like I recommend frost on pretty much everyone, on pretty much everyone. Like if you're a tanker, better. If you're like a frost dealer or like an social like a healer, if you're a frost type, it's always good. I even recommend it on my Zeon as well. So um, that's like how strong the block um, chance rate can be on everyone. But I also do think um, getting those machinery will um, will be good as well. Because um, with the new patch where, um, okay, before before everything in Korean server, you know when Olum taunts people, um, let me actually read the correct, correct word for it. Uh, block people, provoke, provoke people. If you had machinery set stone, you were able to status resist that provoke. So meaning you will not be provoked, 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 provoked with that. But for some reason, it got messed up and then the bug happened where you were being provoked even when you had machinery stone. So it was a bug, but it's there. But guess what? With this patch, they just fixed it. So if you have machinery stone set, set effect, you will no longer be provoked by Olum. So having Rara on machinery will actually help you on snipe whoever you want because you will not be provoked at all. So machinery will be good. Nature will be good because not only it gives you dodge rate, but also when you, get, when you are broken, you're going to be constantly getting those Dragon Blood stacks onto yourself because having nature break will always supposed to de deal damage onto you, right? But because you have those shield, you actually will not be damaging you much. But instead, it will give you six stacks, like right away, right away. Okay. So nature, uh, machinery, nature, and frost will be my top three choices. Fire, maybe okay, maybe okay and good. But damage reduction is not really generally a thing for Rara. Like, look at HPs for um, HP for Rara. It's not really much, man. It's just as same as uh, as same as Jin and Baraka. So it's not really much. And having light, um, light is just right, like light right now is just like out of meta. Um, they, maybe they will rework light in a way where light says effect can become powerful. But right now, it's just not. It, it's not. It's just not there. And what else is uh, remaining? Oh, dark. Dark can actually work good. Um, but, but Rara already have one heal. Like Rara will heal immediately once those uh, once those tranquil disappears. So it's not like Rara will be needing an extra heal on top of that by life steal. So I'm thinking I'm thinking it's not really worth it. So thereby therefore uh, machinery. Nature and Frost. I can't really pick one that's like the D mode, the best. It's, it all depends. Like if you think Rara is gonna be delivering damage for you and you don't have any counter on your team um, to finish enemies uh, low HP ones, you must have your Rara or any other dealer with the machinery. If you think you're delivering enough damage and you still want to um, emphasize on that, um, 
on that, you, I, I recommend you going for the nature. If you think uh, you kind of need some luck on 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 taking on surviving the enemy damage output, I'm think, I'm thinking of frost. So it, it all depends on individual choices. Or basically, once once you got rare up, check out the nature zone. I mean, check out the guardian zone. Maybe the, the one that you have right now can be the good. You know, you don't really have to change anything. So um, does it need machine stone because of the oh it's the 12 turns immunity? That's actually um. That's actually true. That's actually very true. Um, where's my rara? Where's my rara? So having having those. Oh, I have frost. It's not bad. Um, that's actually true. You actually um, gains immunity to status re um, alignment for twelve turns. Whenever you spell, whenever you use this spell, and twelve turns meaning you are guaranteed um, to have one round because one round is made out of ten turns, assuming it's PvP, assuming it's five v five. So actually, getting those twelve turn is um, it's long enough uh, for it to last a whole round. So I guess I guess um, uh, machinery becomes less value in comparison to frost and nature. So yes, either frost or nature. But keep in mind, there will be a lot of people, a lot of uh, ways for you to equip your frost, while you will not be having a lot more usage for your nature. Like there, there are limited hero pools where where having those uh, nature set is good. So the more the frost on you, frost uh, items you have, with faded um, equipment you have, you can put it on anywhere, on anyone. But because you have limited usage for the light, um, I mean for the nature, I, I encourage having your rare for the nature, so that you know whenever you get nature, you you don't really feel like it's a waste. You know you're gonna be using on. Uh, because keep in mind, Baraka is the the one with the highest dodge ratio. Meaning, when Dragon FC Baraka comes out, Dragon FC Baraka will also highly likely to get get much out of it with a Nature Guardian Zone. Okay, so you're actually we're all actually gonna have two um, Dragon FCs who's good with Nature Guardian Zone. Uh, side effect of guard Nature Guardian Zone. So it's not really waste if you get Nature. You know, you don't need to. You don't really have to change your natures. Instead, you can be using that on your Rara and on your um, on your Baraka as well. Okay. So yes, Nature for Rara and yeah, Frost, Machinery, uh, Machinery and Machinery and Frost and Nature. Uh, full water set is good. Yeah, full water. Any any full set is good. I'm just saying um, the most value that you get out of is nature and closing second should be the frost. But keep in mind, you will be using a lot of your a lot of your, a lot of your frost side effect on a lot of heroes. Like if it's tank, if it's tank, frost guarantee. Okay. So um, yeah, I think there is that is what you gotta know for the um, for the rare.